Now back time. I will be adding on some more onto this. I've only got three packages. Stick around. I will be adding more packages on as they arrive this week. I just wanted to get some footage done whilst I can. And there will be links down below for these things if I can give you a link for them. Oops, what's this? Oh, I'm not getting a twofer. There's a package in here. No. No, it's just a second bag. Okay, oh. That's disappointing. And it's a audio playback module. So just like the other modules, this one's going to be for projects I'm going to be playing with. So when you're sitting in the last mail bag I just recorded today, which you'll see last week, um, I bought a few different modules. This one's got a built-in battery, so I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to use yet. This might be this one, might be a different one, don't know. I've got no idea how to use them yet either, I'll figure it out. Oh, excellent. Relays. Relatively boring items, but these ones have got fuses built into them. I put a light bulb on my car the other day and I just had to bodge in an REM relay just plugged in but it's not even fused or anything which isn't good so I put put some of these because I've got the built-in fuses which means less wiring to mess around with and I'm going to just unplug the one I've got in there and plug this one in and it'll work easy as so this is Well packaged anyway. Well packaged and it's just ferrite cores. Not a lot of packaging for ferrite cores. I think these are 8mm or 7mm, something like that. I don't think it says on the outside. No. Doesn't say on the outside what size they are. But something like that anyway, 7 or 8mm. So you put them around a the cable, like this, clip it on. And you got a ferret bead. More mail has arrived. So we've got some more stuff to add on. The links down below. Oh, oh. we've got a twofer. It's even better. So it's a little. USB keyboard, number keyboard. I saw this on AliExpress and thought oh, I'll grab that, it looks like it could be useful. I mean yes it's cute and stuff. Do I actually have a need for this? I don't know, I mean at one time I thought I did need one of these things. And I was thinking what did I actually get this for? I don't know. I'm sure it'll come in handy one day. Links down below. Relays. So I showed some relays previously, which are still sitting on my desk actually, these ones. I need to put my eyes in my car. It's just little 12 volt relays, 40 amp rated apparently, 87-87A terminals. So it's a changeover relay. And I just like to have a little stock of these relays. I mean, I, I've i bought them lots of times in the past, used them all, or lost them maybe, maybe that's more likely, and I've realised they've run out. So, relays. Handy things to keep on hand, 12 volts, you can use all sorts of things. Don't have to use them on a car, you can use them on a project. You know, you've got an enclosure, you've got a mounting tab here, you can screw it to the side of the enclosure and have a 12 volt high current relay. Uh, one thing that I've note though, these usually, I don't think these have got it. No, it's not on the diagram anyway. These relays, I always recommend sticking a diode across the coil to prevent back EMF. Even in your car, do it in your car as well. Recommend you do it. This one came from Ireland, but it says made in China. Weird. Yeah. I don't know what this is. Ah! Creality, 3D printing stuff. This is a metal extruder assembly. Because I've currently got a plastic one on my Ender 3 V2. My original Ender 3 has already got a metal one on it. I did that a while ago. But I thought I'd get one of these ones to go on the V2. Decided to do some upgrades on it. 
and just see if I can improve it a bit more. It was already not a bad printer, but I thought it could be better. Let's find out what's in this one. If I can cut into it with my special knife. <laughs> oh look, there's two. It's like past the parcel. What's this? Ah. Oh, it smells weird. <laughs> I'm guessing uh, Chinese smokers. <laughs> Lovely. That's just what you want to be greeted with. Okay. So we have a 128 gigabyte SD card for start. And it's a uh, dash cam. I thought I'd try a new one. The dash cam I've got is um, getting old now. I think I've had it for about maybe seven years I think and it's been a bit weird it, um, I think it's internal batteries had it it's, it's given trouble because of that and stuff like that and um, I, mean, I may even do a video on it at one point and pull it apart and have a look see if I can fix it but um, I'm suspicious that this thing is pre-opened see this is not unopened Anyway, so I thought I'd try another one and see what happens. Um, read that before you do anything, yeah, sure. Um, here is the dash cam. There'll be links for this thing down below. It's fairly heavy, actually. I'm surprised. Big lens on it. Um, it's got a USB mini connector on there. TF card. Definitely a decent sized screen on it. Menu up, power done, and okay. co. Okay, so I guess that goes that way up so you can actually read the things. That would make sense. Okay. Um, yeah, so the camera I've currently got um, is problematic. It doesn't always work. Sometimes it doesn't even turn on. I have to repower it a few times, that sort of stuff, and eventually it will turn on. So it's kind of had it really. And on here we have a windscreen mount which is not adjustable. A fixed angle mount which has got double sided tape here. Looks like these are clips which release it so you can unplug it so that plugs into there like this yep so it mounts it and if you want to take it back off again there's some clips you squeeze those in and you can pull it back off okay that seems all right i'm not sure it'll go for vibration i've been directly on the windscreen like that with just the foam pad but it might be all right um yeah so this is the s400 pro maybe it's been open because it's been tested beforehand I like to test it before i send it it's possible just because it's been open doesn't mean I'm worried about it. And here we've got a uh, 5 volt, 2 amp, 2 grid lightest plug for the cable. Mini plug on a cable now, I don't know how long that is. They'll probably be a few metres long, I don't know, probably 4 or 5 metres I expect. You may even say it somewhere on it. Just say it on it. It's got GPS stuff like that on it. Don't need that. So it's got GPS, G sensor, ADAS, don't know what ADAS is, 2.5K HD, 2.5K, voice control, interesting, parking monitoring, app interconnection, 3 inch touchscreen, sorry, 3 inch IPS screen, not touchscreen, time lapse, and HD night vision. So I'm hoping this will be an upgrade for what I've got. I can't think of the current brand I've got in there. But um, we'll see if this is an upgrade for it or not. I'm hoping it's got the same cable. If it is the same cable, I'm going to just plug it in. IMAL. IMAL? I don't know. Nice manual, actually. It's, it's got these little tabs to show the language sections. That's nice. Also goes in line with these. That's actually a quality sign. Sign of quality. Excellent. Install the camera, how to set it up. Adjust the lens to the appropriate angle. Really? It's got a tippable lens. Ah, here we go. Look. The lens moves, so you can change the angle on that to try and get it positioned correctly. Oh, well, that's nice, and it even goes that way. Now that's an interesting feature. <laughs> okay, apps. I don't think I need to run an app on it, do I? GPS track playback. Installing software. I probably don't need that because when you've got GPS functions, usually they'll show you on your map, like a mapping system. 
in software and then you can track you know happening at what time and I've done it before on like the Blackview dash cam which I don't really look at anymore it's in the back of the motorhome that one there's a rear view of that but this was fairly cheap this thing so screen resolution is 480 by 854 frame rate 30 frames a second at 2.5k effective pixels is 2560 by 1440 and that is pretty much it and this is the other languages All right cool I might put that in today like I said it came with a 128 gigabyte card is it really 128 gig? I don't know it could be but uh, I'll assume it is it came with it after all I want to give you a card which won't work will I? you think not anyway Oh, maybe I'll let you know later on how this thing goes. I'll maybe put something down in the comments if someone asks, maybe. I don't know. It might take a little while, you know, a few weeks or so for me to actually have this thing going and see what it ends up being like. But uh, by the time you see this video, this would have been installed for quite a while, so it's entirely likely that I'll be able to tell you how good it is. Or otherwise, there'll be links for it down below either way. Look in the description and show more. It's a pretty cheap one. Surprise at the price. And quality looks pretty good. So I'm going to power this up. Now I've already done this in the car and I'm getting an issue coming up. So I'm going to show you what this is. So I've got it ready to go. I've got my USB port here. Let's plug this in. 5 volts on the power supply. 2.2 amps. Don't forget that little adapter came with it. It's rated at 2.4 I think. So we're going to see what actually draws as well. Alright, let's power this up. So, bit of an inrush there but couldn't really see what it was. So I'm drawing a quarter of an amp. It's not too bad. Half an amp. So about half an amp sitting there, right? So I want this to format the card. So I'll do that. I've turned on beeps. It wasn't on by default. I've turned them on myself because I like beeps. Formatting failed. Did you hear that? Formatting failed. It can't format the SD card. If we go back, it asks you to do it again. Alright, do it again. So, yes, it can't format the SD card that was supplied with it. So, turn it back off. Let's go and chuck this on the computer and see what the computer thinks of it. So I'll just try formatting on the computer. The computer saw it just fine. As far as the computer was concerned, it was fine. Put it right around. Let's try this again. I mean, the card has even got this branding on it. It's like it's meant to work with it, so I don't know why it's asking to format anyway. I mean, I can understand why, but it seemed fine. Let's try this again. I formatted it on the computer. Probably the wrong format though. Formatting failed. Nah, can't do it. Still not good. Let's try it again. So, I'll try to do it in a different format. Let's try this again. So, I'm using XFAT. I tried Master Boot Record, now I've tried GUI or G U I D because I'm on a Mac. So, but it shouldn't really matter. It should still, this should still handle that. Wants to format again? Let's try it. Hey, it did it that time. Excellent. That time it worked. Okay. That's interesting. So let's see if it will do the screen now. Open. Here we go. So now it's recording. Brilliant. So it's actually doing something. So, yes, that has a trick with this then. If you uh, get one of these, you have to do XFAT and a GUID recording scheme. So this can then format the camera. Format on the camera. Um, microphone. Voice recording closed. Voice recording open. Recording closed. Okay. Recording open. Right. Well, it seems to be working now. Let's go and install it in the car. Check out the other videos at the end there. Maybe subscribe over there if you want to help support the channel. Patreon link right there. Helps me to buy things, mailbag and bits of test equipment to fix to make videos. Catch you later.